Rachiku. Again, is there something else you wanted? I really have to get back to work. I repaired the sand crawlers when they returned from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. All right. Ki muli ra kun king. Chiwi Aita Katon again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here is your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Very well. Of course. Circuit Corporation records are available at our representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. For your needs here, we maintain a fully stocked storehouse. Speak with Greta Holda about any purchases. Certainly. Please pose your questions to the representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I'll have to refer you to the representative kiosk. Very well, though I... I assume that by out of the ordinary, you're referring to the destruction of Terrace? That is all anyone is talking about. I'm afraid Zerka Corporation is not offering any comment on those events. We wouldn't wish to anger the participants. If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track, one of the few leisure industries on Tatooine. Hmm. There was also a Jawa here earlier, saying something about needing help. I think he's out by the city gates. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Our droid translators had difficulty with the message. Farewell. What? What can I do? Greetings again from the office... Of course. So for your need... Certainly. I'm sorry, but I... Very well. Though I... Of course. For your... Farewell. Greetings again from the... 
I assume that I'm a Zerka Corporation policy is not subject to your approval. It is a sound. If you're looking for local events, I hmm, I can of course for your certainly. I'm sorry, but I farewell. was a scavengers who were enslaved by the sand people. I think I am beginning to understand his plight. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. Well, let's see it. Come on. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, Tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. You're just another of his buddies from that hunting club. I know you're kind. You all cover for each other, I bet. Well, he can do what he wants. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. Just a little something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that will blow up in his face. Of course, he'll never understand how appropriate it is. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to... anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Anyone out there? Could you help? I seem to be, uh, doomed. Hey, 
Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. Now if you could... Oh no, not you. Just my luck. Look, I don't want any trouble. I just need a little help. Well, it would appear that I've worn out my welcome with my wife Marlena. She fixes my droids. <laughs> Fixed them good this time. This should be interesting. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. Yeah, she was right. Something about me not following her archaic rules for proper conduct in a marriage. I swear I never saw this coming. Hey, I'm the victim here. I'm not sure how divorce works where you're from, but this is a little extreme, don't you think? The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. Could you try to do some repairs? They don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. I'd, uh, really appreciate a bit of help. Please? Just access each droid's repair interface. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and uh, ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this, I swear. I'm here. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids have trapped you. They'll hold you until you die of thirst. Make a mistake while repairing them, they explode. Have a good death. My mother was right. That was unpleasant. Thanks for your help. I'd have been a goner. Hey, and the old bat thought I was dead. <laughs> you never asked me for anything, but I consider my life worth something. Please, take this. I insist. Thanks again. I doubt any of those uptight hunters would have helped, and I doubt the wife is coming back. I'm heading back to the shop. I hope she left the manuals for these things behind. Ungrateful little... Ah, doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. You would be right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it. Here they come again. How did they do that?
for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about their enclave in the south? Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect our sand crawlers. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. Glad it's not my job. Just that they attack everything on sight. Well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider is as good as dead. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. It's like a fortress now. I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me? I'd sneak in. Uh, well, actually, I'd just get back to Anchorhead. They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. I don't have time for this sort of thing. I'm through with the desert. You can take your sand people, great dragons and crazy hunters. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can have it. Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me.
What? Sure. I'm here. Yes? Yes? Huh? I do for you. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back. Okay. How can I help? About my mother? I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. We have more important things to do. Still. My father is dead. Just because we find the Holocron doesn't mean I have to give it to her. Father recorded all his personal thoughts in that Holocron, even when I knew him. Having it would be like having him with you. I don't see why she deserves it, however. She drove him to his death. I loved him, and I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. I don't know. Part of me would keep it just so she didn't get it. I don't like that part of me. I would have thought my Jedi training would have put me past this kind of pettiness. I wish it... I really don't want to think about this. Please, let's just keep going. I'm here. Huh?
guys? Sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corp. I see that, but do you have the all -im Then I'll take those off your hands. Yes, we're still waiting for you to return with the Sand People Chief. We don't have any new information on the subject, and I would remind you that you... Very well, though I... Of course, for your... Sir... I'm sorry, but I... Farewell. Oh, good.
I do. Yes? What?
I'm here. I'm here. Yeah? Yes? I'm here. Huh? Yes? Yes?
I'm here. What? Yes? I'm here.
Yes? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in.
Achuta, Unga kun bistul. Achuta, Unga kun bistul. Jeto ba doan ni di bobo? Dong na bung. Tune bodo. Ranen. Dayata, what the chit about the one and needy bobo? Runda di hotonga kun mucha shark pack hat. How can I help? Can I suggest? Hey, it's one of those star maps, ain't it? Kind of weird finding it in the back of a crate dragon's lair, don't you think? The star map is an artifact of the dark side. The great dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power, only to be enslaved by it. Say, now that we've got the star map, do you think we can leave this planet soon? We've got sand... everywhere. I have to give you credit. You've led me on quite a chase. But nobody gets away from Kalo Nord in the end. You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time.
Sorry, I'm not in this for the credits. You're the only ones who've ever gotten away from me. I've got a rep to protect. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. Okay. Oh. 
Kukumo no ba mulera tikun. Tolpa da bongwale. Takom juz dach miki grab. Kuyami juz chikata. Takom juz dach. Mujashak bachat. Ajuda. Have you even looked for the holocron yet? I have the holocron, Mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No. I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now. For both our benefit. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything you say, Mother. <sighs> You're right. It shames me, but I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I, I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. Your father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led. Always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the altar. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone, especially not someone as gifted as you. 
your father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatments. That's why he went for the pearls. I begged him not to, but... Your treatments? I'm dying, Bastard. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming, and there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go, but you know how he was. Stubborn, like you. I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Bastard. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked too. Well, now. You said you had important business. And you were never one to mince words. You there. You take care of my daughter, you hear me? That's good. I'll feel a lot better knowing there's someone to watch her. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. It's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after... after what I have to do. But I already told you, there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again, when we can talk. Oh, all right, I will. You do what you have to, Bastila. You go, make your father and I proud. I'll try. Farewell, Mother. How can I help? Yes. That brought me a lot of peace. More than I thought it would have. Thank you for urging me toward it. After all my training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. How can I help? I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... I'm glad you're with us. Did I? I am trying to be sincere here. It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you. Too demanding at times. <laughs> I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. That's kind of you to say, but I know for myself it's not really true. Being controlled has kept everyone around at arm's length. Even those like yourself who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. Please, it's, it's not allowed. I have to remain true to the Jedi ideal. If this is going to cause a problem, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Well, that was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel... I feel much better. But enough soul-searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? I see that, but do you have the all-important chieftains, Gaffy? That was what you agreed to get for us. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerga Corporation thanks you. I 
think you'll find that the reward I've given is more than adequate for the task. I'm sure. Zirka Corporation thanks you again. Thank you. 